All right, there are a lot of new tools that are coming out every single day. And it's hard to know which ones you need to be using in 2024. So because I've tried hundreds of them at this point, let's break down which seven AI tools I think are gonna help you be more productive and happier in 2024. You should definitely watch until the end because the last one is my absolute favorite by far. Okay, number one is My Mind. When I first found this app, I really appreciated how well designed it was, but I didn't think that I was going to use it every single day. My Mind is a visual bookmarking tool. It uses AI to perfectly tag every single website or image or whatever you save. That way you can always find them later. You can completely forget about organizing folders or whatever you did before, but you can create these little spaces that you can organize or have them be automatically organized with tags. I'm keeping my eye on another tool called Fabric, but right now my mind is still way better. Search is very reliable. The app is faster and visually, it's better at generating previews of the images so you can find things easier, which is really important when you're searching through everything and you're not really sure what it looks like or what it was. You just have a, a vague memory of it. All right, number two actually replaces Google. Yeah, it is that good. This is perplexity. Perplexity gives you a text-based answer that summarizes the top results of whatever you searched for. Finding answers is simply so much faster with Perplexity. And you don't have to deal with any of the SEO garbage that Google fills their site with now. And no ads. The second best thing about Perplexity is that you can ask follow-up questions within your search and create these search threads diving deeper into a topic. Perplexity also has this co-pilot toggle built into every search that lets it analyze your question and then prompt you with questions in return to help it figure out exactly what the best answer is for you. It's incredibly useful. Okay, this next tool will actually make listening to podcasts useful. This is snipped. I've always felt like podcasts were kind of inefficient, a waste of time, and I couldn't save anything that I learned. A few months ago, I discovered Snipped, which completely changes that. Snipped is a podcast player that lets you clip or snip moments within a podcast that you want to save. It generates a transcript where you can actually highlight the text of the exact thing someone said so that you can revisit it later. It uses AI to generate summaries of what you saved, and it integrates with Readwise if you use that so that you can send it off to whatever platform of choice, Notion or whatever that you use to take notes with. They even have a For You page that kind of surfaces the best highlights from their platform that other people have taken and you can use it as a way to discover new interesting things. All right, this next tool is called Harpa. Harpa is an extension for your web browser, Chrome or, or whatever. I've seen several of these, but this one is I think the best one out there and it's free. Harpa does a lot. It's kind of like a multi-tool for your web browser. You can summarize YouTube videos, chat with AI, analyze websites, um, use it to write better emails. It also has a little toolbar that pops up when you select text that you're writing and you can use that toolbar to uh, rewrite whatever you've typed and improve it with AI. This app is a great way to fully integrate AI into your browser and just kind of add it into your workflow. All right, this next app is going to completely blow your mind. This app is Oasis and it at least blew my mind when I used it for the first time. It's a simple voice recorder that is supercharged with AI. Oasis transcribes everything you say and then applies preset prompts to the transcription to generate new text from whatever you said. Summaries, outlines, formal emails, uh, to-do lists. You can really take your jumbled mess of thoughts and just instantly convert it into perfect text for whatever you need. You can also create custom prompts and just plug them in and then generate whatever you want from your voice. After you've generated something you want to use, you can just select copy and then paste it wherever you want to use it. Okay, this next tool is a little different from everything else on the list. This tool is Elicit. Elicit uses AI to make researching a specific topic faster and easier. It searches through a database of over 125 million academic research papers or whatever. And then it gives you a one sentence summary of the top four most popular papers. And then also gives a one sentence summary of each individual top papers so that you can see exactly what was established with each one. You can also have it provide a list of related keywords for any research topic, which is super useful when you're not sure where to even start with something that you're interested in. I personally hate trying to find research papers and I hate trying to decipher their complex language. Elicit makes that so much easier and so much faster. Finally, this next app is the main notes app I'm using this year. It is AI powered and I think everyone should at least try it. It's free to try. 
This tool is called Reflect. I love Reflect because of how simple it appears, but under the hood, it is incredibly powerful. It's fast, end-to-end -end encrypted, and provides backlinks so that you can link everything together within your notes. And its AI integrations are some of the best I've seen in a notes app. You can use their pre-made prompts to fix grammar, rewrite stuff, generate outlines, and so much more. You can also create your own prompts and save them in there to use whenever you need them. They also just released AI chat within their search of the notes app. It's really unique. So what you're able to do is you can search for something within your notes and then chat with the notes that were the results from your search. This is the best way I've seen to actually take full advantage of a second brain without spending a tons of time managing it. Reflect also has voice transcription built in, similar to what we saw in Oasis. And if you are a Reflect user, you don't even need to use Oasis. It basically does everything that Oasis does. Reflect is one of the more expensive tools, but it's worth at least checking out. You can try it for free with a 14 day trial. All right, so that was my list of the top AI tools you need to be using in 2024 to improve your life. There's honestly several more that I could have included on this list. So I might make another video pretty soon. If you wanna see that, you should absolutely hit subscribe. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.